Hello everyone, for this episode, we are here at the heart of Pampanga, at its prestigious capital, San Fernando City, where we have a very special township, an urban renewal of sorts. We call this township, Capital Town. Capital Town is a 35.6 hectare township, and it's right here in the middle of San Fernando City, this township is the site of the former Pampanga Sugar Development Company, or Pasudeco. This was the first ever Filipino finance sugar refinery and depository. It was built in 1921, so by now it's more than 100 years old. Behind me is the Capital Town Clock Tower. It carries a neoclassical architecture and it has a clock tower that's about 25 meters high. On the ground floor, we have a Mac Cafe. Normally, Mac Cafes are integrated into the main McDonald's stores. But for this particular branch, we decided to separate it so that it has its own identity. If I may say, this is actually one of the most beautiful Mac Cafes there is in the Philippines. And it's actually one of the best performing stores here in the Philippines. So come on, let's go check out Mac Cafe. What's unique about this Mac Cafe is there's a mini gallery here of old photos of San Fernando and old photos of Paso Deco. Behind me is the largest McDonald's in the Philippines. This 1,000 square meter McDonald's is quite an iconic structure. It's along Capitol Boulevard. This will give you a glimpse basically of uh, what a future design of McDonald's stores will be. Let's go take a look. Hello, how are you? Hi, Eugene. Yeah, welcome to McDonald's Capital Town. So this is uh, Eugene Reducindo. He's the managing director of Choice Gourmet, who is the, which is the franchise holder of this particular branch. So Eugene, thanks for having me. Oh, thank you, sir. Tell me what you know makes this place, this particular branch special. This store is the biggest store in the Philippines. As you can see, this is around 2,200 uh, square meters of lot area. We have this experience of the future, the self-ordering kiosk. And if you go to the drive-thru, we have the customer order display. We have the HHOT, the handheld order taking. Uh, we use that in the drive-thru. And this store has a big party area, as you can see. It can accommodate more than 80 uh, persons. And we have a special room here, the conference room. If you want to do your meeting here, this is exclusively for a business meeting. We have ample seating here on the, this area. So Eugene, tell me, what are some of the unique design elements and inspirations that went behind this? Design is one of the, the international design. We call it ray palette. If you have this uh, imported ceiling that we have, it's more on light. If you see this at night, uh, the light uh, gives more uh, feel for the store and it's really nice. And it's all glass, no? yes. as you can see, it's beautiful. And you, mm -hmm. you also use a lot of sort of green, mm -hmm. sustainable elements as well, yes. I can see. What are some of the safety protocols to keep our customers safe here at the store? Here at uh, McDonald's, we are using this M-Safe, McDonald's Safe. All managers and crew are uh, required to follow all the health protocols, mm -hmm. uh, even the protocols from the LGU mm -hmm. to ensure safety of our customers and as well as our employees. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing that we are implementing consistently. Well, thank you very much for the tour. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, sir. A pleasure. So we are here now at the Capital Town Shop House District. This area is about 6.3 hectares. Uh, we have about 98 lots here. They range from 276 square meters all the way up to 700 square meters. So the concept here is that we allow you to build up to three floors. 
So normally you'll have your businesses on the ground and second floor, and then the third floor is for your living space or maybe a small hotel. We have investors here from all sorts of different industries, from restaurateurs to hotel operators, uh, to deli and meat shops, uh, all the way to even accounting offices or leasing offices or even law offices here in Pampanga. When we launched here in 2017, property prices were only 42,000 pesos per square meter. Today, property prices here are already up to 91,000 pesos per square meter or 102% increase since the time we've launched. All the lots here are sold out. This uh, area is a fantastic location and Capital Town itself is about 2.7 kilometers away from the San Fernando exit. But the location as well is, you know, we're really very close to SEPEX and TAPEX as well. And of course, Clark International Airport. The design of the shop houses here will be reminiscent of the 1950s when the local economy of Pampanga prospered with the patronage of local tourists and American soldiers who remain in the district during the post-colonial era of the Philippines. The street names here at the Capital Town Shop House District were inspired by pop icons back in the Art Deco era. So we have a street here called Sinatra Drive, Connery Walk, Lennon Road. These were all derived from American pop culture during the Art Deco era. Right now, we're actually building two condominium towers, Chelsea Park Place and the Bryant Park Lane. The Chelsea Park Place is 15 stories high, and the Bryant Park Lane is 16 stories high. When we launched these condominiums in 2018, the prices were 149,000 pesos per square meter. Today, prices are now 200,000 pesos per square meter. And both towers are practically sold out. This year, we're going to be launching a brand new residential condominium. We're going to call this Montrose Park View. And as you can see, by looking at the property, you have also a fantastic view of Mount Araya, which is quite majestic. Over the long term, our vision is to also create a business district here. Our plan is to create at least 250,000 new business process outsourcing jobs right here at Capital Town. We will be building several buildings. Our first building will be named Casa de Emperador. We will also be erecting a monument in the middle of our cyber park dedicated to Pampanga's revolutionary hero, General Maximo Hison. He was the highest ranking Kapampangan in the Revolutionary Army. And we are happy to dedicate a space for him here at Capital Town. Another feature of the township includes a two-hectare rainwater park, which is designed to be a catchment basin for stormwater. But around it is a park and a lot of green open spaces for recreational amenities like biking and jogging. And basically what makes it special is that this sits right in the middle or the heart of Capital Town.